I'm Pete Prisco for CBSSports.com in Jacksonville. Jaguars have a training camp practice behind me. It's time for one man, that would be me, against one fan, Mandy Jones. Mandy, uh, just before we went on, you were talking about how I'm wrong about the Jaguars and their quarterback situation, and you were going to put me in my place. Go ahead and tell me. Well, you know, I really think that uh, switching from Byron Leftwich to Gerard was a was a great move as we saw two years ago unfortunately last year we kind of had a bit of a slower season didn't really do what we expected but I think this year with the changes that they've made in the team we're really going to come back and show some people who we are. I mean you got Todd Bowman breathing down his neck for the uh, the next uh, starting position but um, you know Bowman's going to keep him in the game um, I think Garrard's got everything necessary to uh, advance. Were you a big proponent of the move to get rid of Byron and keep David Garrard as the quarterback? Yes absolutely I, I, th I think with Byron being in Tampa Bay, you know, it's just going to bring Tampa Bay down a little bit. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. I was all for Gerard. I disagree with you. You know that. We are the best team in the NFL. <laughs> she drinks She drinks the Kool-Aid. Uh, being a little more realistic, though, probably got a chance, outside chance for a playoff spot. I would like to think so. Um, I know it's, I think... In the beginning, as our team's getting together, it might be a little rough, but when they really get it going and, and find out who they are, they're really going to come out there and, and be strong. And towards the end of the season, I think we're really going to show it and might even get that playoff spot. Who do you hate more, Peyton Manning or the Tennessee Titans? The Tennessee Titans. Why? you got to give some respect to Peyton. He's good at what he does, but I don't know, whatever it is, those Titans, they just get under our skin every year. <laughs> yeah, and they're probably going to do it again. Uh, reporting from Jacksonville, I'm Pete Prisco for CBSSports.com.